Jennifer Klein here, RoseVillainRockland.com. Uh, I am sitting with uh, Ryan Lundquist from hey, Lundquist Appraisals. Uh, we're here to talk a little bit about appraisals. Uh, I know that my clients um, are, and everybody at this point, is a little frustrated with the way the market is. You know, when there were multiple offers on something as an appraiser, I'd look at that and say, wow, this is, you know, there's multiple offers between 260 and 270. That's really indicative of value, probably. Mm -hmm. But right now, you can list a property at almost anything and get multiple offers at list price. And what, what's happening is that buyers don't want to offer less because they think, then I'm not going to get chosen. And some buyers are saying, well, the sales price is 230 I'm going to offer 240 remove appraisal contingencies, mm -hmm. and then you know do all these things in order to sort of help sweeten the pot. And so um, it's a really interesting situation, really interesting market to be in. I mean, obviously the property is worth what it's worth. And just because there's multiple offers, you know, um, at say 240 or you know above, it doesn't mean it's actually worth it. Buyers are willing to pay that because there's a sense of duress in the market, almost where mm -hmm. desperation. Um, yeah, they're desperate and they've been shopping for two or three months and they put in you know 40 offers and then okay, I'm just gonna you know send one out of the park because I need to get into a house mm -hmm. and so. Um, sometimes it's just due to the craziness of the market rather than real value. And then also it's so easy to borrow. Well, it's not easy to get a loan sometimes, but if you can qualify for a loan, money is so cheap to borrow right now that Everybody. I think that's influencing people. Hey, what's another 20000 Because that won't increase my monthly payment by very much. And so, so are you running into, on your appraisals, you're running into those challenges, I would assume, where, you know, the, it was listed at 230. It, it, you know, the last, you know, model match was at 230, but, you know, 10 offers came in at 240. What, what are you able to combat that or how, how, what do you do there? Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes, I mean, you know, the market, I wouldn't say in every single sub market is going up, but there are definitely markets where, yeah, values are increasing, you know, the listings and the pendings are coming in higher and there's a lot of reasons why I think that's happening. But where I can look at that and think, yeah, there's a legitimate increase, you know, from this month, you know, this year mm -hmm. compared to last year. Mm -hmm. And so there is an uptick that appraisers can account for. Okay. Um, and so there's something legitimate about that, too. <laughs> it's not just like the buyer's going crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some appreciation going on. And so um, that's definitely something that I, I take a look at. Okay. So. All right. So that counts. Yeah. Appreciation counts. Good to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, thanks for yeah, coming, Ryan. Definitely. Thank uh, you so much. Uh, Jennifer Klein here, RoseVilleandRockland.com, 916-230-3880. And Ryan Lundquist, 916-595-3735 at SacramentoAppraisalBlog.com. Thank you. Hey, thank you.